Hello, and welcome to today's LOL Esports Roundup. Full disclosure, I thought I recorded this. I didn't hit start recording, so this is a redo. I acknowledge when this happens because I do not edit my content because I believe the first, you know, spiel, the first take is the authentic one. Everything after that is cleaned up. You know, oh, I'm going to say this instead of that because this is, people try and really clean their things up to make people happy and I mean, I want to make you happy, but at the same time, I'm not going to, like, give up my own integrity to make you happy, if that, if that makes sense. Um, so, this is going to be a lot quicker than it was the first time, um, because I've already said everything. Uh, now, 6-2 and two in predictions, 1-1 one and one today. What does that mean? That means both of these aren't an upset to me. One of these is not, which is going to surprise a lot of people, right? Um... Gam and Rainbow 7. Rainbow 7 win 2-1. Bong was my MVP. Um, Bong, I have been speak singing his praises all MSI long. I wanted him to get on some carries. He was on Quesante and Gragas today. Are those carries? No, but he did extremely well on them. CEO went 18-8 and 18. 32% of damage for R7 at 80 carry. Adi, 10-9-25 in the jungle. Was almost my MVP. His Viego and Poppy were outstanding. By the way, CEO played Zaya in all three games. Style, 18, 10, 24, 35% of damage for Gam. Played Zeri all three games. Let's make sure I'm recording and the audio is working. Oh, it is. Woohoo. Um, sorry about the lighting. At this time of day, it's impossible to get decent lighting in this room. Um, now, so I thought Gam were going to win this 2-1. Uh, Rainbow 7 win 2-1. I thought both bot lanes were bad enough that I could see Rainbow 7 winning a game. Um, in the end, Bong and Adi really beat the shit out of Gam. Um, and Katie did not look good into Myru, which I identified as something that could happen. Um, just, honestly, I think Gam were playing the game that they played in the VCS all year, which is, hey, let's tank early game. It's okay if we lose. You know, we, we get behind. We'll just win in team fights. And there were moments, especially in game one, where they were able to come back through team fighting. But then they would lose that game. Rainbow 7 able to put up a, a wall at their base and, and, and win. And then come back into the game and and, and win. Um, CEO doing very well in team fights, Finding opportunities to trade when he was going to die. Sometimes even with multiple kills. Um, I thought Bong in team fights was great on the Quesante. Uh, also doing well into Kiea in lane. Kiea had moments in team fights on the Jacks that stick out. And even the Gwen. But couldn't get it done in the end um so i mean like i said i already went over this once full disclosure um i thought style did fine on the zary l3 games he had zary moments and then there were moments where he played like he has been so in my opinion really came down to katie myru did very well and katie didn't deal a lot of damage in this game dfm and loud um i thought loud were gonna win i had it 2-1 in my prediction video for members only so this result not a surprise to me um, you know, I'm sure a lot of Brazilian fans think they're better than Japan. They have proven today that they are better than Japan today. Um, Root was my MVP, but Robo went 7-4-10, 29% of damage. Tin owned 7-1-24. Steel, 5-5-6, 26% of damage for DFM. So, yesterday I had said, Robo needs to perform. Toll 2 stinks. Robo needs to take advantage of that. They win through top. Laning phase, Robo left a lot to be desired. He did not do very well. He got ganked multiple times and got caught in those ganks. That's not 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 good. Um, but in team fights, his NAR was on point, and that was huge. Uh, I thought that Tin Owns was a great facilitator as well. Didn't die. Still found moments to be impactful. Croc on the Maokai was able to get objectives, get ahead of DFM, not allow them to scale. That was huge. And then Root was my MVP because he was able to find opportunities in team fights to keep the team in it in game one and as well as help get the team ahead in game two he dealt a lot of damage in the team fights found finishing was able to get last hits to get kills and that was important on the Aphelios. um like uh see shoot like i said i've already done this so i i'm all over the place now from dfm's perspective i wonder if this is the end of japan's um, supremacy over you see Latin America here and, and CB LOL because Aria did not look good at all this entire I mean the two series he did not look good Utapan did not look good 
And I wonder if this is it, right? The DFM legacy is done. Um, they could continue to win J LJL like they did, but I do wonder if the punch is no longer providing quite the quite the pop. Um, just really, really not up to snuff. Um, and this isn't to say that Loud is bad. It's just to say that DFM without Evie in top lane, Toltu is clearly bad. Utapon is old. Aria did not show up. What else is there for me to say? Sneak peek for tomorrow. Rainbow Seven, Golden Guardians, both one and one. Last matchup and never. These two teams have never faced off against each other. The last time North America played Latin America was in MSI 2021. C9 would win both games against Infinity. Neither team has had players face off against each other. Adi was the only one from Rainbow Seven to be in an international event, and he was not at one where River was the opposition. How do I think about this one? I think this is going to be a close series. I, I would lean Golden Guardians more if it wasn't for the, how this transpired. Um, Bong did very well, and I think Bong is better than Licorice. Myru probably isn't as good as Gori, which is a big deal. Jungle-wise, Adi played exceptionally well. Adi is a veteran. He's been around the block, um, and I think that that is a big deal. So, excuse me, into River, I think that that matchup is going to be exciting. And then the bot lane, I do give it to Stick saying Hui, but the way CEO played, I mean, are Stick saying Hui going to ban Zaya? I think that there is an argument argument for that. So, um, we'll see how that goes. And then Loud and PSG. Um, I'm sure a lot of Brazilian fans are riding high off of this and think that, you know, PSG is going to be easy. Um, last matchup, they've never played against each other. In the last time CBLOL played PCS, they lost. Beyond Gaming were the two seed of the PCS and beat Loud at Worlds 2022. Uh, there's no overlap of players facing off against each other. Um, I am not, like I said, I predicted Loud to win. That is not how I feel necessarily about this. Not as strongly right this second before I make my prediction video after this. Um, I do want to say, and I did say this in the first video, I'm going to say it again. Um, I really hope that we don't have fans that think that Loud are choking internationally. Um, we had this going into it. Oh, I really hope Loud don't choke. They don't choke. To choke, you have to be the favorite. In the heavy favorite, in my opinion. Um, if you're not the favorite there's no choking because there's no pressure there's no real realistic pressure um, you should be able to play free despite what fans at home might be thinking just kind of drown that out like the delusional fans are going to think things as a player play free like there's nothing to lose right um you of course you always think you're going to win but also you know try and keep your head on straight and I think that there is potential for Loud to be able to compete in this one. I think that if Robo shows up like he did in this one, they have a good chance. Now he has to do well in two two days in a row. That's asking a lot, right? So um, we'll see if that you know transpires. I think Junjia is way better than Croc. Yubao and Tinones is probably a wash. And then the bot lane is probably a wash as well. So... This one's going to be close. I think both of these series are very interesting. Tomorrow, winners face off in a best of five for the final spot going into the main event. So that's it for the roundup. Thank you for watching. If you like the video, like it. Subscribe to the channel for daily League of Legends content. Follow me on Twitter. Join the Discord. Become a YouTube supporter. And I hope to see you again tomorrow.